Welcome to the Regional Garden at the United States Botanic Garden. I'm Deputy Executive Director, Dr. Susan Pell, and today we're gonna to talk about winter buds. The first plant we're gonna look at is this wonderful rhododendron. What I wanna show you with this rhododendron are these wonderful terminal buds. You can see this terminal bud ends the stem or terminates the stem, and it's subtended by these smaller buds, which we call lateral or axillary buds, and they are generally born and the axis of where the previous leaves from last year were located. So right in that sort of juncture between the scar of the leaf and the stem. And these buds hold the new growth for this year. That big terminal bud is going to open to reveal the spring blooms of this plant. And these lateral buds are going to reveal the leaves and these will also result in elongating growth of the plant. This time of year, these buds are beginning to break. That is, they're beginning to expand. These outer bud scales that you can see so clearly here will fall away, revealing that wonderful new growth. This is a red buckeye or Asculus pavia bud, and they are quite large. And you can see this one is not quite at the tip of the branch, but really is offset a little bit. And that is because uh, this plant has zigzagging growth, where in years past, a terminal bud uh, formed a flower and then a lateral bud took over with the elongating growth. And it does that over time each year. Most plants, like this swamp tie tie or Cyrilla racemiflora, have very tiny axillary or lateral buds, as you can see here, and much larger terminal buds. These buds of the flowering dogwood or Cornus florida are called turbinate because they're shaped like little tiny turbans. Much like other parts of the plant, the winter buds of silky camellia or Stewardia malacodendron are covered in very soft sort of velvety trichomes or plant hairs. Many vaccinium or blueberry species and cultivars have red winter buds. And as you can see here, the size varies enormously from one cultivar or species to the next. And this is what those blueberry buds look like once they've burst a little bit later in the springtime. The terminal buds of Viburnum nudum or wither rod are very elongate. As you can see here, they are lance shaped. This terminal flower bud is only partially covered by the bud scales, exposing the bulging flower buds here. This plant has opposite leaves, and you can see that from the scars on the stems. The buds of this Amelanchier arborea or downy shadlow have already burst. That is, they're already growing the flowers and leaves that will cover this plant later in the spring. I've walked over to Southern Exposure, which is one of the courtyards in our conservatory, to show you these beautiful, quite large and hairy terminal buds of Magnolia ashii. You can see they're quite large. And actually having hairy buds is one of the diagnostic characteristics of the genus Magnolia. I've switched to my macro lens to zoom in on the hairs of this wonderful bud. And as you can see, it's quite velvety. Thanks for joining me today to talk about winter buds, and I look forward to our future botanical adventures.